Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex. Today I want to show you how to unlock this iPhone 12. On my right, I have an iPhone 11 that is already unlocked. How can I know if an iPhone is locked to a carrier or not? You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go to general, about, and here you can see guys, carrier lock, SIM lock, and carrier lock, no SIM restrictions. No SIM restrictions means that this iPhone is unlocked. So I can use any carrier in the world pretty much. But with this one, you can only use it with the carrier that locked the device, you know? And this is the second part. How can we know what carrier locked this iPhone? So the website is called imeicheck.com. And inside there on the menu, you can see iPhone carrier check, okay? Now this website has a lot of ads, so be careful where you click, okay? Basically we need both IMEIs and we need the serial. So let's get that. The first IMEI is this. The only problem is that we need to clean it up, right? If we paste it here, we have blank spaces. So what I do is I go here and I paste it there. And then here I'm gonna delete the blank space. The blank spaces. Okay, then uh, I select it all, copy. Then I have the first IMEI and I'm gonna paste the first IMEI. Now let's check the second IMEI. Click and hold, copy, and you're gonna do the same thing, right? You're gonna come here, you're gonna paste it, you're gonna delete the blank spaces, and then you're gonna select all, copy, and it's here. Paste it. So now we have IMEI 1, IMEI 2, and now I need to put the serial. It's right here, serial number. Click and hold, copy, go back to the website, and type the serial. So by doing this, this website is going to tell me what carrier locked my phone. It says carrier, US AT&T lock, activation policy, policy 23, country United States, SIM lock, lock. So that's a confirmation that this iPhone is locked, but now we know what carrier locked it. Now we know that it's AT&T. If you have an iPhone that is locked to AT&T, luckily AT&T has a portal. The only thing is that people are saying that AT&T is not allowing to use that portal without a phone anymore. So that's what we're gonna test right now. We're gonna copy the IMEI, and we're gonna open that portal, right? You're gonna search for AT&T unlock. Now, you see this? This is an ad. So if you click here, this is another website. This is not the website that we need. By the way, I don't trust this company. They are scammers, all right? Don't use this company. I have a video about all the websites that they have that they scam people. This is the one that we need, at device unlock. So click there, and it says, your device installment plan must have zero balance to request a device unlock. Close that. You're gonna close this too, and we're gonna click the start and unlock request. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? No. The IMEI, you're gonna click and hold and you're gonna paste it. The portal recognizes the iPhone as the iPhone 12 and the model is A2172. We're gonna click, I read the legal info and then click next. I'm gonna put my information here. Now let's see if they allow me to complete this form without putting my number. Alex Zuniga, mobile number, don't even click there. We're gonna go here to email. We're gonna put my email, alex5 at gmail. Now we're gonna click submit. Thanks, we got your request. Now we need to confirm that request. So we need to log into our email, in my case is Gmail, to see what kind of email they sent to us, right? And here it is, at 11.43 a.m., AT&T Online Services, click there, and it says, confirm your device unlock request within 24 hours. And here, the only thing you need to do is you need to click on confirm your request. So click there. And that's how you confirm your request. You're gonna go back to your email. And this time you're gonna click on check the status. And it says pending, this is a good sign. That means that AT&T is processing the request. By the way, this process is automatic. There's no person saying yes or no to your request, but it takes time, you know? So go back to your email and you're gonna click again, check the status. Click again this. 
Boom. And look at this, guys. Approve. Current status approve. We approve your request to unlock your device. Here are the instructions. Also, at and is going to send you an email with uh, saying congratulations, you know, we approve your device, something like that, you know. And here it is at 11.45. So everything took like two, three minutes, guys. This is automatic. This is fast. at and online services. Heads up. We approve your unlock request. Let's get your device unlocked. You just need to put a SIM card from another carrier and that should be it. Okay. This is the confirmation that this is still working. Wednesday, June 26, 2024, I was able to unlock my iPhone and they didn't request a phone number from me. Okay. I think that depends on your phone. I didn't know the status of this phone at all. I just bought it and I was lucky enough that AT&T unlocked. Now let's check here on the settings, right? Remember the settings, it says SIM lock. Now it should say something like no SIM restrictions. And look at this, no SIM restrictions. That means that this iPhone is now 100% unlocked. Let's test it out. How can we test it out? We just need to put a SIM card from another carrier. I'm gonna use a Google Fi SIM card. So this SIM card, doesn't have service right now. So it's just gonna allow us to see here. We're gonna start seeing here, network it should change to Google Fi. Look at this, Google Fi. All right guys, so the iPhone finished doing the update 17.5.1. And of course it is still unlocked, no SIM restrictions, right? Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want me to do more videos for you guys, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That's the best way you can support what I do. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.